Hey, what's up you guys? This is Junior Trader and in this video we are taking a look at Tesla stock price action analysis and let's figure out what is the price action telling us? Are we going much higher from here? Do we expect a pullback? Today's red candle, shall we worry about it or what not, right? So let's discuss all the possibilities. And I would also like to point your attention to this junior trader dividend investing channel of mine. I have done a video today as well. I took some profits on my Nvidia and Tesla position, but check these videos out here. Subscribe here as well if you are interested to follow along. This is a public facing portfolio I have been building for now almost close to two and a half to three months. So just check it out if you are interested and subscribe here as well, guys, uh, if, if you want to follow along. So Tesla. All right. Now, first thing first, today's candle is just a pullback. There is no change to the structure. Structure is still bullish and I'll be using my tool as well that is now released that tells you the structure in the color code. So you don't have to worry about where the structure is changing. My This tool will automatically tell that. And today's structure tells me that we it's just constituting just as a pullback now. It's not bearish. We are also above 20 and 50 days moving average. We are above 214 and 84 cents, one of a good important significant level of previous pivots and also an interjecting point of 20 days and 50 days moving average. Today's little bit of a dip is just a, in my opinion, a, I mean, technically it's just a pullback, nothing more than that. It's not changing structure bearish. Five minutes interval is an interesting one. And this is where you can use the cloud as well of my, this new tool. Um, where it allows you to understand should your bias be upside or to the downside and you can see once we broke below the cloud we have been just a bearish play and you can see today if it tried to stay up but that's what if you let's say for reasons that any long play was taken up here you need to have a stop loss uh, below or once the candle turns red and we are in the cloud or start breaking below the cloud pretty much right that's a bearish play and then uh, partial profits can be taken. You can use the my universal indicator average range concept with the today's range. When today's range gets very close to average range, that means time to take profits. The move has completed for the day almost. And then orange candles and all fourth also tells you that okay things may look you know a little bit different. Um, like time to take profits, right? When, when big orange candle starts to come. And then if you can, you know, uh, if you're good with the price session understanding, you can see that we also started to form a little bit at least, you know, this lower, higher low, at least for the little bit of interim. But since we had the overhanging dark, well, the, the red cloud for the intraday, you can see any uh, back test of that just resulted in the sell off came back to the same uh, other level, right? So, I mean, what I'm trying to explain is that how you can use this tool as well, right? Various years. This helps you visually identifying where are the stop losses you can put, what type of plays can be taken, where is your bias, all of that. And if you love trading during pre-market as well, this helps the cloud also helps you to make this cloud and the candle colors um, uh, helps you in understanding, you know, um, uh, what, what type of trades to take. And there is an introductory video as that I have provided to the members. If you are a member, that's great. You would have received that video already on how to use this tool. If you need access to my tools, links are in the description below of this video. All right. So that's a little bit high level on, you know, what, you know, Tesla is doing today, what type of trades could be taken, but overall structure is not bearish. And uh, so let's go to the daily interval back again, and then we'll um, make our way to the um, the hourly interval stuff now. So, yep. So let's go to the hourly interval, daily interval. I already talked about nothing to worry about. And so here we are right now. Now I'm going to again, turn, because this tool is just so it just, it's easier for you to also understand once I turn it on, right? Because then you, when I say the levels, the structure, this way, you know, now also what I'm talking about, right? So, Yes, right now on the intraday though, we are getting a cool off, right? Or a little bit of a sell off intraday, the bearish play also that we are in intraday only. Why so? Because technically the structure overall, we are still above the cloud on the uh, hourly interval. We are still higher highs, higher lows today. This has to be taken as a dip, right? Now, the levels to watch tomorrow are 
let's put this thing back off again and so the levels to watch tomorrow so tesla technically is still in an ongoing uptrend you can also use this uh, particularly if you are a trend line person you can use the trend line area as well right but what, what the levels to watch for tomorrow is if intraday we get above 20 hours moving average tomorrow and get above 222 upside is possible again and then you are watching the levels again to the upside like 226 228 if for any reason tomorrow we lose 219 and 78 cents with 50 hours moving average as well eventually we may be testing 214 dollars again so be prepared to on the both sides but overall the on the daily interval at least for until 214 i would only take that just as a pullback for me this will not change the structure still to the bearish the structure will still remain to the bullish pullbacks until 214 for me are digestible all right now as i have pointed you out in my couple of uh, previous videos as well that the short volume data so let's turn that on as well and what i want to point your attention to is this specific zone of um 47 percent this particular zone so if price comes up here 233 just be careful because this is where we do have some strong uh, short seller sitting from the past and that level did turn out successful for the short sellers right we did see a massive drop as well after that so that means those short sellers are active and they might try to do it again here because it's the same important level many of them came here right so that's where you have to be careful so if we get to 233 watch price action again like a hawk and let, let's see if we go straight up to 233 or we do this some pullback until 214 and then our make our way up um, and accordingly we'll see the price action as well how it evolves all right so let's turn this thing off again the short volume data now on the weekly interval let's go over there and let's go over there so on the weekly interval we are looking strong on tesla guys we are bullish right i mean i have been already saying that since we again also got above that uh, that box right now it's not showing up because i removed it uh, for the reason that i was you know doing some other stuff for my analysis but this was somewhere around here the box we had now weekly interval we are again above that box no problem we are, as i said that sh high short volume percent from the past is around 200 weeks moving average so be careful when we retest it so um yeah so that's that let's see what tesla does then there and but you have the levels to watch on both ends and also at intraday level what levels are you watching i already provided you those on the hourly interval all in all structure is still bullish on tesla and uh, things are still looking fine to me and uh, but as i said i like to take profits in the extensions that's why i did book some profits in my dividend investing channel check it out details here even nvidia i took some profits for the reasons that i have explained on this channel in the videos here so check it out links to this channel is also in the description below the dividend investing channel all right guys well that's it for tesla and we still have 40 minutes until market closes. I don't think you want to sit here with me for 40 more minutes right in this video. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. And uh, if you found it helpful, valuable, please hit the like, subscribe. I'll see you in my next videos. Take care. Bye.